in a 30 second span of my life, my life just changed. I was abused, I was beaten. taking through a process where the doctor says oh really you were here do you mind showing me what were the steps or which doors you came to and which bed you were sitting you were lying in and I looked at him and I said that cannot be I mean you cannot expect me to be able to do all that retrace every single step when I came into the hospital holding on to my eye screaming help and help and help I just I, I just burst into the hospital I was like completely blooded, barefoot. I was asking for help. And at that point, you know, two, three weeks later, of actually four weeks later, someone then expects me to go back and say, tell me which door you went into. I was able to ret retrace part of the steps, but in all this, God also showed himself. There was an angel, there was a nurse who appeared at that time. He recognized me and he said, Josina. And I said, yes. And he says, I attended to you on that night. And I looked at him and I said, and the doctor then looks and says, oh, so there is someone who can tell the story. ensuring that women have safe havens where they have access to medical care, to judicial assistance, um, to police in the same place. So if they want to open a case, they can open a case. If they don't, they don't. But you know what? They don't have to be doing this. What They don't have to do to go through what I went through. You know, up and down to the police and explain. I was there. Then they find they can't find the document. I have to open a new docket. I have to um, start a whole medical uh, you know, issue. It's, it's, it's just not, it's not physical. I mean, it's not feasi feasible and it's not allowed. That's like victimizing the person time and time and time again. And um, yeah, we need to put a stop to it and say, you know what? Enough is enough. It's, uh, we, 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 we cannot tolerate this. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. <laughs>